So I'm going to be creating a worksheet that is very similar to yours, but with different numbers. So this worksheet is called Making Equal Groups. You're going to look at each number below in the first column. Decide if it is possible to make group equal groups of two, five, or 10 with no leftovers. Put a check mark in the box if it's possible. Otherwise, you would leave it blank. Um, so basically, I'm gonna use my knowledge of the previous slides to help me solve this. We're actually not going to be using counters today. We're going to be looking at the numbers, thinking, and putting our check mark if necessary. So if I look at the number 13, I can see that in the ones place, there is three. I know that to make equal groups of two, we'd have to have zero, two, four, six, or eight in the ones place. Since I have three, I cannot put a check mark in this box because you cannot make equal groups of two with 13. Now it says, can you make equal groups of five with no leftovers with the number 13? I know that there has to be a zero and five in the ones place to make equal groups of five, so I cannot put a check mark here. Can you make equal groups of 10 with no leftovers? In order to make equal groups of 10, there has to be a zero in the ones place. So 13 checks none of these boxes. It cannot make equal groups of two, equal groups of five, or equal groups of 10. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Sorry that I'm a bit shaky, friends. I'm gonna to try to study it. 26 is the next number. So I'm gonna think about 26 if it can make equal groups of two with no leftovers. I see there's a six in the ones place, so that definitely can make equal groups of two with no leftovers. To make equal groups of five with no leftovers, I would need a zero or five in the ones place, so I'm gonna leave this one blank because it does not work out for five. In order for 26 to make, uh, in order for a number to make equal groups of 10, you'd have to have a zero in the ones place. 26 does not have a zero in the ones place. I cannot tick that box. Now we're going to look at 40. 40 has a zero in the ones place. That works to make equal groups of two with no leftovers. It works to make equal groups of five with no leftovers. And it even works to make equal groups of 10 with no leftovers because there is a zero in the ones place. So 40 is a number that ticks all the boxes. 51 has a one in the ones place. It cannot make equal groups of two because it does not have a zero, two, four, six, or eight in the ones place, so I can't tick that. It cannot make equal groups of five because it does not have a zero or five in the ones place, and it cannot make equal groups of 10 because it does not have a zero in the ones place. So 51, like 13, cannot, does not have any boxes ticked. It cannot make equal groups of two, five, or 10. The last one we're gonna look at today is 75. 75 has a five in the ones place. I cannot tick the box that says, can you make equal groups of two with no leftovers because there's a five, not a zero, two, four, six, or eight. Can you make equal groups of five with no leftovers. This one I actually can tick because I would need a zero or five in the ones place and I have a five. Can you make equal groups of 10 with no leftovers? I cannot tick this box because there is not a zero in the ones place of 75. So basically you just have to look at each number, think about what you learned in, learned in the previous slides and just put an, a check mark in the boxes in which it works. And that's it. You can choose to Put a check mark in this on Google Docs. If you do not know how to do that or you don't want to do that, you can print this out, make your own check marks like I did. If you do not have a printer or don't want to print it out, you can just make a chart that looks like this on twice as nice paper or in your notebook and take a picture and submit. 